My name is Britt Johnston. I work for Microsoft in the SQL Server Appliances team. My team builds a family of appliances for SQL Server. I talked about SQL Server family of appliances. We have uh, five of them that are actually available today, and I spoke about all of them, but I went into a special detail on uh, our new private cloud appliance, the so-called database consolidation appliance. Appliances are different than traditional systems. Traditional systems are usually built in a data center by a staff. Uh, an appliance is delivered in a box, and you plug it in, turn it on, and it works. So it's a different kind of solution. It's a new way of, of uh, really delivering software to customers. The uh, concept of appliance has been around for a long time in the form of things like routers and switches that people are very familiar with. What we've really done in the last few years is up-leveled that to where we're talking about database appliances, much higher level of value, much more complex uh, than, than people expect in the form of an appliance. But what it can do is dramatically reduce the time to solution for very complex problems. Where this is headed, uh, one reason we talked about the private cloud today is we do think we are heading towards a world where people have some general purpose resource that can run many kinds of workloads, including database workloads, and database workloads of all different types. And that will work both in the private cloud and the public cloud. So we're, we're, we're moving towards a world where appliances really serve as a gateway or a connection into uh, the overall cloud that, uh, that we're trying to deliver. I got some great questions. People wanted to understand the details about how the appliances were designed, both from a software and a hardware level. We got onto leads and feeds and exactly which, which uh, connections we're using, iSCSI or fiber channel and what kind of memory we use, how many cores on what processors and why, all those nice uh, uh, deep detailed questions. But we also on the other end of what's your disaster recovery strategy when I use appliances and things like that. So it was a real broad spectrum and uh, it was a lot of fun. I got involved with SQL Server. Well, I've really been in the database business for 30 something years. And uh, about seven years ago, I was talking to a lot of customers, my customers at the time, and they were all excited about SQL Server. So I called my friends at Microsoft and said, hey, I keep hearing about your product. Why don't I come join you and, and work with you? And, and, and now I'm here. SQL Saturday in Silicon Valley here in 2012, an amazing event. In fact, when I, when I drove up, the, the, just the sheer number of cars in the parking lot was, was amazing. Uh, on a Saturday to get all these professionals together uh, that all want to learn about SQL Server and what we've done there. It's been very, uh, very enjoyable to interact with what are really experts in their fields and, and get lots of rich questions. So for me, uh, traveling down from, from Redmond to, uh, to this event, it's, it's been, uh, been a lot of fun.